Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey you guys, welcome back for another MSF News. It's Sunday, the 18th of April, tw- I'm sorry, 19th of April, 2020. And, uh, had a couple things happen this week. One thing they did have the, um... Iron Fist won the poll for the next Dark Dimension 3 Blitz. So we'll be getting his Blitz along with those Red Stars for him. Uh, I've got some more information on Corvus Glaive. It's a brawler for the Black Order. Uh, Proxima Midnight always assists his basic attack. His special attack ignores Taunt and Stealth. Gain stealth when he or enemies have low health. And grant Thanos the Mind Stone with defense up. And he will be coming through the backstab blitz. And we have a strike time video where they elaborated on him a little more. And we got some... Clarification with the Red Star update. It says we've revamped and upgraded the Red Star system to improve overall gameplay experience. Claim 14 Red Star orbs to experience updates on the Red Star feature starting tomorrow, 12 a.m. You will also, there will also be a login calendar with various other Red Star rewards and currencies. Here's a brief overview of the changes. For a complete breakdown, visit our developers blog. Red Star Orbs, side pillars for basic Red Stars through 6 Star Orbs will now reward Elite Credits. 1, 3, and 4 Red Star Duplicates will always award players more Elite 4 Credits. Promotion Credits, promotions from 4 Red Stars to 5 Red Stars will now cost half as much, 150 Silver Promotion Credits. Additionally, the cost for using gold promotion credits will be inflated so that they be, can become more accessible than they currently are. The cost of promoting a character from 5 red stars to 6 red stars will be inflated by 20 times from 5 to 100 gold promotion credits, effect, effectively keeping the cost in the new economy the same. The cost of promoting a character from 6 red stars to 7 red stars will now cost 150 gold promotion credits, greatly reducing the cost from what it is now. As a result, the amount of gold promotion credits in players' inventories will be multiplied by 20 to match the inflation. Promotion Credit Store As a result, the changes in promotion credits New characters will not be available for upgrade via promotion credits until the character becomes available in campaign nodes or the store. Uh, They have since said that in regards to legendary characters, uh, you will be able to buy their promotions the second time they come around. So that first time, you're just up to whatever you can get through the orbs. Now, there's a lot of people are upset with this change. I, uh, I'm one of the few that thinks it's totally fair. I mean, if someone out there is lucky enough to pull a seven red star and a new character through an orb, you know, they should have a little while to, uh, enjoy that before everyone can just go and promote theirs to seven red stars. You know, I mean, there's... I mean, you can make the argument for characters like Black Widow that took forever for them to become farmable. But, you know, I... I personally don't have a problem with it. And other people are losing their minds over it. So, I mean, even... Even still, it's like the one 
bad thing we got out of this update, if you can even consider it bad. But everything else I think they do with Red Stars has been wonderful and greatly needed. Uh, stat bonuses. Stat bonuses for each Red Star have been adjusted to allow smoother power level ramp up. Enemy Red Stars. Due to stat bonus changes, all enemies who have less than 7 stars in missions will now have one fewer Red Stars. Their stat bonus from Red Stars will remain constant. Now, there is one, one point uh, in the game where there seems to be a bug with that. And that would be, I believe it's the ability material challenge. I don't know what happened, but they're, they are significantly weaker. I actually uh, recorded it here. But yeah, I'm going into tier 12. Come on. As soon as it loads. All right, now look at their health bars. And Magneto's ultimate right here. Almost completely kills everyone. As a matter of fact, on tier 11, it, it completely eliminates wave one. Uh, the only person with a reasonable amount of health is Ultimus. And he... Not even doing that much damage. But you can see here that everything is getting resisted and they're they're not even putting a scratch on this team. And it's not like these are, you know, seven red star characters. I mean they're higher level, but You know, I mean, clearly this is not uh, intended to be this easy. I was, I've actually been stuck on tier 11 of the ability challenge for quite a while. And this, just to be able to just walk right through it. So, yep, and down goes Ultimus. Three star. So, if uh, if you're having trouble uh, completing those ability material challenges, I would suggest do it now before uh, those power levels are fixed. And this, oh, we've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> Chaos Theory Wakanda bonus event. This flash event requires Wakandans and will reward silver and gold promotion credits. Unfortunately, being the first time this event comes around, uh, which will be the first Saturday of next month. Well, should be. Um, I don't know what they're doing with, with their flash events. Like, yesterday we should have had the payday event. But instead, we got the Relic Hunt coming, which, uh, by the calendar that they've set themselves, um, the Relic Hunt would have been last week, but obviously these these uh, changes didn't take effect till the middle of the week. So, I guess technically that one should have been skipped. They should have had the payday yesterday. You know, and being that this is a even number month, there'd be no block party this week. So, but I don't know. Maybe they're just going to start fresh on May 1st with that. Uh, and now we got some featured red stars Hella, Scientist Supreme, Mr. Sinister, Vision, Symbiote, Spider Man, and Human Torch. And here they have increased your uh, cooldown for contributing raid keys from 
24 hours to 48 hours. So I'm assuming that's an effort to combat the shelling alliances. Now uh, we got the Spider-Man symbiote milestones back. So let's see here. It says uh, Spider-Man symbiote character shards return to the re reoccurring milestone rewards for a limited time. Be sure to catch them while you can, as he will be leaving the milestone reward rewards for about four weeks be sure to add the corrupted brawler to your roster before he swings out of the milestone okay so once this ends yeah, it looks like we'll have another month before he comes back we got coming soon nexus chapter eight uh fury and strike are taking on the fight to hella to destroy the the conversion engine once and for all. Assemble the greatest team to conquer the upcoming Nexus Chapter 8. Uh, new characters will soon be available from Nexus Chapter 8, including Karnak and Thanos. As a result, all changes will be made to the premium orbs, so look out for updates. Let's see here. It looks like uh, missions 1 through 3, there'll be no restrictions. Uh, four through six, it's any combination of Guardians, Asgardians, or Inhumans. And seven to nine is any combination of S.H.I.E.L.D., X-Men, or Brotherhood. So those should be relatively easy. I and mean, those are all uh, mostly meta teams. So uh, ones that people should already have at a decently high level anyways so I don't see too many problems with that okay and this is just uh, the Dark Dimension 3 rewards uh, now the time run will give you 250 gold promotion credits along with 600 silver promotion credits so you get enough credits to Take a character from one red star to seven red stars. Okay, we had the Ghost Rider Blitz already passed. Oh no, Ghost Rider is going on now. Okay, and we have Friday's blog post here. Ah, okay. Here we go. Got some information on uh, the Red Star economy. So over the past few weeks, we've provided a number of details about the updated Red Star system. However, we missed key information and important context. We understand the jolt and confusion that may have resulted from yesterday's update. This post aims to provide, however, belatedly, that the information that information and context so you can understand the, the totality of the red star rework and how it's intended to give players informed choices in the details provided last week there was a small typo stating that the side pillar of red star orbs would have promotion credits this should have stated elite credits the wording for the up the wording was updated a few hours after pushing out the correction and was not adequately highlighted. There was additional messaging mistakenly absent regarding the changes to the prices of silver and gold promotion credits that we intended to give the community. But that, too, slipped past our review process, so we apologize for these inconsistencies. For the context on the intent of this rework, purchasing with elite credits is not intended to be the primary source of promotion credits in the new system. Players will be getting significantly more promotion credits from daily objectives 
upcoming flash events, logging calendars, dark dimension, and additional sources. As a prime example, here are the rewards you can expect with the new flash event, Chaos Theory. Tier 1. One silver promotion credit per victory. First time only, 10 silver promotion credits. Tier 2. Two silver promotion credits per victory. First time only, 20 silver promotion credits. Tier 3. Three silver promotion credits per victory. First time only, 20 silver promotion credits. So it looks like when the first time we have this event, uh, we'll get 20, 40, 50... Wait, 20, 40, 50... 50 56 promotion credits because we'll only be able to do the three battles. But then we have uh, tier four, five silver promotion credits, and one gold promotion credit per victory. First time only, 20 silver credits, and, and 10 gold promotion credits. Tier 5, 9 silver promotion credits and 2 gold promotion credits per victory. First time only, 25 silver and 20 gold promotion credits. Tier 6, 12 silver promotion credits and 4 gold promotion credits per victory. First time only, 30 silver and 30 gold promotion credits. Okay, so people that have... Still have uh, gold promotion credits left from earlier. Actually, the the people that didn't spend them at all really made out on this update because their 10 gold promotions would have multiplied to 200, which means they would have a 7-star upgrade. But for those of us that only spent one, I... Personally, I spent mine on Captain Marvel. Uh, by the time it rolls around the second time, we'll have enough for that 7 red star. And the final tier, 18 silver and 7 gold promotion credits per victory. Uh, first time only, 75 silver and 40 gold promotion credits. Not bad. This flash event will also run every month, three attempts for each, oh, for each, hmm, three attempts for each iteration. So after completing tier seven, players will be able to earn 648 silver promotion credits and 252 gold promotion credits. Every 12 months. Hmm. So, well, that's uh, a little over one seven, star, seven red star a year. Uh, one combined with the 365 silver promotion credits from Alliance Donation Daily, that's over a thousand promotion, silver promotion credits a year. As such, the option to spend elite credits on promotion credits is intended for players who need a smaller amount of promotion credits for a purchase, not bulk conversions. In addition to the flash event and the daily objectives, there will be many opportunities to earn promotion credits through other methods such as logging calendars, milestone rewards, and the like. It is also important to take into account how the new... How the new, ugh, pardon me, how extensive the changes are to the Red Star Orb system. Elite credits were added to the side pillars of the basic Red Star Orbs through six through Elite Six Star Orbs. Opening a duplicate one star character will grant the same number of Elite Four credits as opening a duplicate of the two Red Star character. The updated contents of the basic red orbs will ensure that upon opening 20 orbs, even if you get all duplicates of the lowest red star characters, you're guaranteed to have enough credits to purchase one elite red 
for Red Star Orb. Duplicates of three Red Star characters have been increased from 400 to 450 Elite Four credits. Duplicates of four Red Star characters in the basic Red Star Orb have been increased from 900 to 950 Elite Four credits. Opening orbs is more valuable with this change and advancing from one Elite Orb to the next is much more reliable. As such, it is significantly easier to acquire high-value Elite credits than before. Now that you've looked at the changes in tandem, they're still, they're still in action. In addition to, se to sending the 150 silver promotion credits to players, that needs to be taken to allow players to make an informed choice. Sometime next week, date to be announced for a 24-hour period, we will set the prices of silver and gold promotion credits to their values prior to the change on Wednesday to allow players the opportunity This will include 20 time multiplier on gold promotion credits. So while this is active, 500 elite Oh, okay. 500 elite 7 credits will buy 20 gold promotion credits. Okay, the time frame will be widely communicated to ensure the players are keenly aware of it. Uh, basically what that was is if you go over to the promotion here. Yeah, this right here, the 50 silver, um, it used to, I want to say this used to only cost 500, or maybe it was 2,000, and this was 500. But anyways, uh, they, they changed the prices of those, and, uh. Some people made their voices heard about it. I apologize for the confusion and the initial messaging. We use the experience to improve our internal process. Thank you for your questions and patience while we expedite the process. Okay, so that was the Red Star update. Let's go to this one. Fight for Earth. Uh, greetings, Commanders. You'll get your Terrigen Mist fix for, for this week. As the King of the Inhumans and two members of the Royal Family are dropping in. We've also we also got special events in honor of Earth Day, orb updates, and more. Nature's Gift. While battling for the fate of Nexus Earth, let's not all forget to take care of Earth itself. In honor of our big blue planet, we're holding a special event where Alliance donations earn additional rewards. Starting April 24th at approximately 5.15 Pacific Time and lasting seven days, earn silver promotion credits and increase gold when your Alliance rewards reaches boxes 3 to 5. Uh, work your way through all five boxes each day with your alliance to earn enough silver promotion credits to upgrade a five red star character of your choice. Returning legendary event, Black Bolt, King of the Inhumans, is streaming back for the return of his legendary event, Unite the Kingdoms. Mm -hmm. To add this royal blaster to your roster, you need to assemble a, a squad of five Asgardians. Be on the lookout for your chance to elevate your Asgardians with the upcoming 2x bonus event for Asgard. Upcoming Blitzes. Channel the soul of the dragon Shalau with this week's featured Blitz Iron Fist. Earn character shards for the character chosen by the community in the Dark Dimension 3 City Pole over on our official Facebook page. 
But don't leave the city when you're finished, because up next is the symbiote that loves to terrorize the city, Venom. Bond with the character shards of the Spider-Verse controller before he slinks back <coughs> into the shadows. Nexus campaign characters. Shatter and snap away the competition with two new additions to the Nexus campaign, Karnak and Thanos. You can acquire character shards of these heavy hitters in the Nexus 8 campaign nodes. Karnak, Nexus 8-6. Thanos, Nexus 8-9. Premium Orb Updates. Now that Thanos has a new home in the Nexus campaign, we're decreasing the drop rate of Thanos and Black Widow in the Premium Orbs to match the drop rate of all other non-exclusive characters. <laughs> Additionally, Yo-Yo is entering the Premium Orb as a new exclusive character. All exclusive characters, Yo-Yo and Minerva, will be locked at a 2% drop rate each. This means that even if more characters are added in the future, the 2% drop rate will remain unchanged. And that's all they have for that. Okay, so the only thing uh, really saw in the data mine this week that hasn't already been announced in game is it looks like they're going to have those gear blitzes again uh, for blue, purple, gold, uh, as well as red stars. Now, all these blitzes say that they're going to be running a cooldown of one hour instead of the regular two hours. I am not a fan of that. <laughs> um, I I, th I think an hour cooldown is just way too much, um, especially if it's going to be during the week. When uh, I know a lot of people are out of work, but there are a lot of us that are still going to work every day. Um, like me myself, I work a regular eight hour day and then I go out uh, for three three to four hours after that uh, doing food deliveries. Um, so yeah, an hour cooldown would not work at all. Okay, so legendaries. What do we got for legendaries? Obviously we have Black Bolt coming on the 27th. Uh, Magneto on May 11th, Shuri May 25th, uh, Phoenix on June 8th, Star Lord on June 22nd, Invisible Woman on 4th of July. Now, uh, we know that Ebony Ma is going to be uh, sometime in May, late May. So, I don't know if they're just going to move them all up one or or what. But, again, that's just speculated dates at this point. Now, as far as the Flash events. And we're almost at the point where it's um, a set schedule. But, for whatever reason, that's not quite the case yet. Uh, as I said, the uh, paid event should have been Saturday, but we have the Relic Hunt coming up. So, I'm guessing maybe they'll do the paid event next week, even though it is the fourth Saturday of the month, and then starting... Uh, starting on May 2nd, uh, we would have that first Chaos Theory. You know, and then uh, May 8th, Relic Hunt. And May 15th, Payday. And May 22nd, Block Party. So, those are the dates there. Get a couple orbs going here. Try and save a few for 
Um, definitely for uh, Ebony Ma. Uh, you know what? I think I want to save these premiums. Even though it's only two, but... Yeah, I want to wait until there's a chance I can get Yo-Yo in there. But these, uh... Oh, nice. I'll have to send that uh, screenshot to Valley there. So he's never seen a, um... Seen her come up on uh, on the middle pillar. But I will say that it's definitely a rare pull. <laughs> it seems every uh, every time there's a new campaign event, it just those <clears throat> odds seem to be getting worse and worse. Oh, there's another one! Holy crap! I don't think I have enough to. Oh, I do have enough to rank her up. I might have to go and do that. Okay, you know what? For those legacy... I'm just going to turn on the multiple orb opening. I swear to God, it's going to take forever to seven-star Captain Marvel. Same with Coulson. Oh, there's a ton drop. Nice. Okay, let's see what we got in the Ultimus. War Machine, Nebula, and Mordo. So, nothing impressive. All right, guys, well, that's all I got this week. So, until next time, I'll take it easy. Okay, let's do this fucking shit.